welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video review here on Tech Gooch. Um, I wanted to go over something that, um, first of all, this is actually one of my friend's cameras. This is the Canon 5D Mark IV. Uh, I want to say thank you very much to Ryan for letting me showcase this camera because this is an awesome camera, uh, but also to test it out and show you guys some really cool accessories. So we did this with uh, a Peak Design bag um, before. Uh, so that was kind of the first thing I kind of showed you with this camera. Now I'm actually showing you one of the accessories maybe you actually noticed that was in the bag, um, and that is the Pulse from Alpine Labs. If anybody has ever used the Canon app that come that you can use on any smartphone with Canon cameras, you may know that it's not the best. One thing that Canon doesn't do very well is smartphone software, in my opinion. Even their printer software I can't say great things about. Excuse me. However, Alpine actually takes that to the next level. It's a little device, which right now is sitting up here in the, the shoe, that connects with it with a, well in this case, micro USB to micro USB cable to the 5D Mark IV. It does work with a lot of other Canon and Nikon cameras. So if you're interested in this, definitely check out their, out their website. It will be posted in the, in the description where you can uh, see if your camera is one of those that is supported. That said, it allows you to com have complete control, and I may be not complete control, allows you to do a lot of really cool things that, well, a lot of them you can't really do in the Canon app, but also have better control over doing certain things. So, for instance, long exposure ratings. So if I actually go into the, uh, and I'm not going to do a full review of the app itself, uh, but if I go to long exposure mode, I can choose uh, the exposure and the exposure time just by pu pushing plus and minus. Really quick and simple. So let's say I'm gonna go, let's go down here so it's not a crazy long uh, photo that I take. Let's say it's just a five second five seconds. So there we go. You can hear that it actually clicked and it's taking. It's telling me when it's going and it's done. Um, the uh, nice and bright. That's for sure because uh, it's bright in here, right? <clears throat> so really quick and easy way to do to take those long exposures. Now I'm in bulb mode, and this is actually set, synced up with bulb mode. Uh, same thing if I go to time-lapse mode, I can actually take time-lapse. Um, I can say for an hour, take a photo every five seconds. And I can just as easily adjust that. So, you know, whatever, zero hours, two hours, I can complete, have complete control over those things that are really hard to do with the standalone app that comes with it or without getting some kind of manual stick to do it. Um, it's awesome and it works really well. And the battery life of that uh, of the Pulse is like 12 over 12 hours, I think. So pretty awesome, and it charges through the same port that you're actually connecting to the camera. Um, so you can charge it up, and you're good for a very long amount of time, to be honest. Uh, you can actually control video from it. So if you actually had it in video mode, you can control video from this thing. Uh, same thing, if I'm actually in photo mode, um, if I just click it, it's going to take a photo. And it's actually going to give you a small preview of that photo up here. Same thing goes, uh, there we go, it's really dark because it's in bulb mode in settings. But if I actually push and hold the button, let's see if I hit it right. Oh, my bad. Uh, if you push and hold the button, it is in bulb mode. So if I push and hold, it'll actually open the exposure and hold it until I let go of the button. So there we go. It's a crude way of doing those long exposures manually, right, by counting the seconds. If I was to say the downside to it, it is a Bluetooth connection. So for instance, if I'm in long exposure mode, uh, and maybe I set it up for a, whatever, a, a, two, a two minute, doesn't matter. If I hit start, if I was to hit stop, it takes a couple seconds for it to actually tell the, the camera to stop. Um, so that would be the one thing that I would say is, is the downside, is there is that lapse between the connection lapse um, between the phone and the actual camera itself, because it is, you know, you have that Bluetooth uh, slowness, I guess, or the, the, the limitation of the speed of Bluetooth. Um, so that would be the one thing. Also, as you can see here, if I'm doing a bunch of things at once, it can get a little slow at doing things. So um, while it is working, and it's working really well, it the, the connection speed, I think, is something that they probably should work on. Uh, if it was me, I'd probably look at doing a, uh, a Wi-Fi connection rather than a Bluetooth connection, but then again, that may actually eat a battery more. Um, so that would be the one thing that I would have. To, I want to put out there is the connection speed is is something that's a little lacking. Uh, but there are some awesome, more awesome modes. Uh, photo booth mode. It will take. Uh, I think it's 
uh, let's see, four four photos uh, every five seconds. So if I hit new uh, on the app here, uh, essentially what I can do is uh, if I want to put it on a tripod, aim it at my friends and I, and just take a bunch of photos um, without me having to get my phone out and tell it to take a photo, photo booth mode. Photo booth mode will actually allow you to say, okay, hit, and it'll count down five, four, three, two, one, take a picture. Five, four, three, two, one, take a picture. It's like a photo booth, right? Like the old school printout on a sleeve of paper photo booth. So it works really, really well in that regard. Uh, same thing with uh, HDR mode. Now in HDR mode, uh, you can actually have it set up to take how many photos in different um, steps, uh, so EV steps. Uh, that said, uh, you do have to have it on manual mode rather than bulb mode, and that brings up the second uh, downfall. If I was to say there's two lacks of the device, and probably both of which um, are, eh, well, one is Bluetooth more, I think, more than anything else. The other one, I think, which is what this one is, is uh, if I am in bold mode and I'm, I'm using the camera and all of a sudden I want to use maybe like HDR mode and I want to put it on manual, if I even if I switch it to manual and I hit the start button, it'll come up and say change your camera to manual. And what I literally have to do is power off both the camera and the uh, end of the pulse, wait a couple seconds, power them both back on, reconnect in manual mode, and it'll be fine. But if I do a switch between bold mode and manual mode, Unless I was in that mode when I started the, tr the connection, that's where I, I have issues because it doesn't like to go back and forth while being open. Uh, now that's definitely something that's gonna be, that can be easily, I think, changed in firmware updates and they do firmware updates to these guys regularly. So uh, maybe by the time you're watching this video, they've already patched and repaired that. So, uh, but that would be, uh, you know, if there's two things that I would say are, are shortfalls or something that would actually be as a, a lacking part of this camera. One, connection speed, and two, uh, the having to restart it in order to change modes. Uh, so that is the, the pulse for Alpine Labs. Quite literally, and, and there is a little power button, a little power switch on the back side here. You can see it lights up, tells you, okay, turned off. Um, it is awesome, it really is. Uh, and especially if you're getting those long exposure night shots or uh, time-lapse photos. This is the accessory to have if you have a Canon or a Nikon. I have a Sony. I can't use this. Sony needs to make their cameras able to be controlled via USB. I don't know why they don't. It makes no sense. I know Pulse has definitely tried to contact Sony to get them to do it with no, uh, with no information from them at all. So if Sony's watching this, Please make your cameras work on this because while I do like the Sony app a lot more than I like the Canon app, um, having more capability, more possibilities is just opens you up to new markets. So, because maybe there's somebody that just likes the Alpine app a lot better than they like the camera app. So, um, in, in, in my opinion, in all reality, I think this is a better app experience when we're talking about uh, slow shutter speeds or those long exposure modes and time lapse i think those two items and the photo booth is, is really cool that's something that actually any of those camera manufacturers could add to their app on their camera natively so uh that said uh, i highly recommend you guys checking it out because this guy is awesome um and you do want to make sure that you get the necessary cable for your camera so when you do order make sure you, that it comes with the cable that's necessary to work on your camera this is micro usb to micro usb you may be micro to mini um so double check that but that said, uh, definitely check out the Pulse. Awesome accessory. Definitely one of my favorite accessories for well, cameras that it can be used for. So, uh, like I said, check them out below. I will post a link directly to Amazon where you can purchase this as well. Um, but that said, let me know what you think. That's what the comment section below is. Share, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, catch us on the next video. And I hope you guys stay tuned and share the video to as many people as possible so we get the word out on our channel. So... That said, thanks again for watching. We will catch you on another video. See you soon, guys.